morning guys I am here it is early in the morning and everybody's asleep even Penny <laughs> I just got done feeding Tommy for his very early morning feeding and instead of going back to bed for like an hour I thought I'm just gonna get ready for the day because we have a lot going on um, and I wanted to show you guys how I cover <laughs> my under bag eyes I actually shouldn't cover them I should leave them so that people really see that I have really dark under eyes and I'm super tired, but I'm gonna cover them because I want to. I learned this tip forever ago from Emily Noel on YouTube, um, is correcting your under eyes first and today's just perfect timing to correct them because they're just extra dark. You correct it with like an orange base, um, your dark purple blue under eyes. Um, this happens to be a Bobbi Brown corrector and it's called a corrector and the shade is light to medium bisque. And I literally take a bunch on my finger, I take a lot, and I don't rub it ever. Because if you rub under your eye, it just, to me, tends to crease more. It just doesn't look good. I literally just cake it right here on the inner corner. And once it's mostly there, I kind of drag it down just a little bit to blend it. And I'm just tapping. I don't ever blend. And I don't really go past this outer part because then I'll take actual concealer and go over it. And you don't have to take actual concealer and go over it, but if you're really wanting to like have a nice bright under eye, that's what I do. Can you see the huge difference? Like look how dark and blue that is. And like look how nice and bright that is. So that is how I correct my under eyes. Finishing up some breakfast that I have eaten by myself. <laughs> the sun is coming up. It's still kind of dark outside. And uh, I love that fall is around the corner. Um, the lipstick I'm wearing today is Plumful from MAC. I love wearing like darker moody colors um, for fall. So my under eyes, as you can tell, is much um, covered, <laughs> brighter. And um, my eyeshadow, I have quite a bit of like dark eyeshadows on because feels like fall and I'm gonna have to put a little sweater on this morning so it's like cold outside while I take the kids to school. So that is like my little quiet morning. I'm shocked that everyone is still asleep. The kids are usually up by now, but instead I'm just gonna finish eating and look out outside as the sun comes up. Good morning, guys. How'd you sleep? Hi. Oh, bonkers, you okay? You did sleep. What? You did sleep. I did sleep, I just woke up before you. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Mr. K. Are you going to school? You are? Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. You thought I didn't sleep? <laughs> Mama sometimes wake up before the kids. <laughs> you you are trying so hard to roll over I bet you if you didn't have that pillow you would do it <laughs> you're pretty happy about it huh oh my goodness you are growing up way too fast young man you can do it <laughs> yeah did you have a good night last night you slept so good you can do it! You can do it! I cannot believe he is this close. He's barely, not even three months. Two and a half months. You're already starting to roll over. Yeah. All right, you know how I talked to you guys about my makeup today? Well, let me talk to you about some clothes. Oh, and a huge thanks to Throughout for sponsoring today's video. Jared, hit the music! Tom Tom, listen up. I got some clothes for you too. Penny, fetch me my deliveries! Let's open these up. 
Thrifted is an online consignment and thrift store where you can buy from thousands of incredible brands and have them shipped to your door. My absolute favorite shirt out of the collection is from American Eagle and the estimated original price was $39 and I got it from the thread up price which was $21.99. This pullover sweater from Victoria's Secret, the estimated original price was $60 and the thread up price was $16.99. I wanted to get Jackson a nice jacket and so I tried a new brand. It's splendid and it's a zip up hoodie. The estimated original price was $51 and for thread up, I got the price for $21.99. The estimated original price for the Carter booties were $44 and the thread up price was $15.99. The Koala baby booties estimated original price was $17 and the thread up price, I got them for $10.99. How many times have you been on a website and the website is confusing and you end up backing out and you're just done shopping online? I enjoy ThreadUp. I enjoy that it's easy to navigate. You can choose by color, by size. You can have the clothing items be brand new or used or lightly used. You can do this from their app as well. They do free shipping on select items and the returns are easy. One of the things that I have really enjoyed about ThreadUp is we have three kids that are constantly changing sizes with each season. And I really try and preserve Jackson's clothes so that Calvin can wear them and then maybe some clothes that Calvin can wear, Tommy can wear. I have tons of boxes full of clothes but the thing that I've really liked is I've been able to try not only a lot of brands but I've been able to try a lot of nice brands at not the cost that it originally is and so that's one of the things I really really love about thread up as you guys can see we got a ton of fun stuff even Tommy got another swimming suit look at all the cute sharks on it um, check out thread up in our description and for you guys to get 30% off of your first order we have a code for you it's EJ30 now that I've given you guys a little update with my makeup, my clothes, let's talk a little bit about nursing. My sweet friend Lindsay. Hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> we are gonna. You're you're taller than I anticipated. I um, really am. I'm six feet tall. You are. You are. <laughs> it's fun when um you have friends on the internet and then you meet in person and you're like, oh my gosh, you're taller or um you're shorter, like for me. Or you're fatter. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sit around and eat food all day, right? Um, she was telling me that so so we're doing a video today yes. and she was so sweet we're doing a nursing video and she brought me so she has Trader Joe's in town and she brought me tons of snacks like to eat because, because I'm nursing you don't have a Trader Joe's close by <laughs> no so you have to try it sample out of the goodness right? I don't think I've bought anything from Trader Joe's yeah. ever so, so you can hide from your kids thanks right friend. um the peanut butter cups mm -hmm. Jackson you're not getting into them we're not done unloading you're like showing it and Okay, keep, keep going. going. What's okay. in here? So we'll show what we have so far. So okay. we have apple rings, delicious, one-handed. Awesome. Right, delicious. Okay, yes. I showed this. This is our favorite. This will be my 4 a.m. snack. Chips and salsa. Is it just me awesome. that drink salsa? I had to bring two jars. Yours. Okay. I was like, the one jar will be gone too fast and she'll be really sad. Totally. <laughs> I just love to put these on like salad sandwiches, whatever. Perfect. Oh, in my oatmeal, I love this. <gasps> almonds. I do not so do that. Good. I eat oatmeal every morning. Yeah, with the bowl I heard of fruit. you on one of your videos oh. saying we did oatmeal for dinner because it was. Yeah, <laughs> we do that too. Yeah, so let's fancy <laughs> it up. Oh, you are. That's awesome. I'm gonna do that. Right? And then we've got peanut butter pretzels. My kids. Oh eat my it. gosh. And then those are if you're trying to be good, you can dip in salsa or guac. You are so sweet. Wait, a little bit more. I pineapple feel really rings. spoiled. You are so cute. Delicious. I love pineapple rings. Like candy. Yes. Okay. Oh. And then that's like candy, but I had to bring some real candy. Yes. I don't know if you're a licorice girl, or if you're a black or strawberry. Am but... I a licorice girl? <laughs> <laughs> Can you watch more videos? <laughs> Gummy bears. You are so cute. Candy. Okay, then, I'll share a little. Okay, this is really probably my favorite. I'll be honest. What is Rochetta. it? And now my on bread. Yes. So you get the little baguettes. Okay. Cut it. Put a little olive oil. Put it. Broil it for two minutes. Perfect. Put this on my, mm. my little boy who's six. It's like, mom, can I have bruschetta? Oh no. A little brat. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you're gonna love that. Okay. And then um, these are two seasonings that are really good. So this is good on everything. 
This bagel, is like sesame. Cheese. Okay. It's, it's good on anything. It's like a, awesome. Which we're gonna talk about dairy and stuff in, in our sure. video. I have yeah. questions for you. Yes. So this is like salt and pepper. Okay. Up and it's delicious. And then this is a chili lime. Oh. Like uh, chicken meat. Thank anything. you. I feel so spoiled. No, this is gonna be Thank amazing. Thank you. So hopefully you get a little taste of Trader Joe's now. Well, thanks. I don't want to close by. Thank you. That's our icebreaker. <laughs> our icebreaker <laughs> is food. We're gonna eat food. We're gonna get to know each other. Yeah. Yes. And then we're gonna go film some videos, some Love nursing it. videos. You are a lactation consultant? Yes. Lactation and specialist. And Labor and delivery. Awesome. Two hours later. Tell me what to do. Go up. Click that. Um, click that. Click that. That's... <laughs> did I do it? You did. <laughs> Were you giving mom instructions on how to work the Apple TV? Yeah. <laughs> go up, click it, yeah. go to the side. That's what he does all the time. It's so sweet. Okay, is it time for quiet time after school? Yeah. Good. High five, we, boys. We had a snack. Mm -hmm. They played with their car toys forever. Yes. And now it's quiet. Ah, oh, mom's favorite time. I had a ton of fun getting to know my friend Lindsay. We've been friends on social media, but to actually meet in person, we've done several videos. And what I think I've decided, I haven't told Jared this, but I'm making the decision. I think those videos we are going to have go up as a daily video because the days that those go up, um, they're, they are nursing, breastfeeding Q&A questions, like very mommy um, vlogs. Those are gonna go up. That way I can have three days off because I just pre-filmed three videos with her. So I'm gonna have those go up, that way I can take a little breather and break from videos and that will be really good for me. And I hope that that content will be really good for you guys, for all of you that have had questions. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Is that okay? Yeah, the cool <laughs> thing about it is the, the videos that you made, uh, if you would have had those when you were going through the tough breastfeeding times with Jackson and Calvin, it would have been invaluable to It you. would have helped. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of people who could get some help from this. And yes. Lot, all of you guys would enjoy them. So look forward to those. They're a, it's very mommy-ish, um, nursing, babies. I'm, I'm super excited for the videos and I hope you guys love them too. Who wants to pull mom's flowers? I'm in. You don't want to pull them? No. Jackson, do you want to pull them? What is something we should never, ever, 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 ever do? Um. We should never, ever, 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 ever pull mom's flowers. We should pull those pop flowers. Yeah, but we're but only we're, gonna pull them because we have new flowers to plant. Yeah, but the snow flowers. Okay, is that okay, are those, Calvin? Are those yeah. snow flowers? Um, show me which ones you think are snow flowers. Um, are the yellow ones? They kind of are snow flowers. Can you guys help me pull the old ones out? Yeah. And down. Yeah, down. Cool. You got it. Put it in the garbage. When we were doing our backyard, I knew that my kids would love jumping all over these rocks, climbing them, falling on them, probably getting hurt. And I always wondered what spot will they pick out of the whole yard that they absolutely love. They have the whole yard. And the spot that they pick the most is up here by this tree. Calvin sits on this rock all the time. They pull leaves off of the tree. I don't know what they play. They just, they're make-believing. They're playing up there. And they love it. What are you playing up there? Wait, they're playing fishy. Oh, they pretend that they're fishing. With my leaves. <laughs> they can pull the leaves off of my tree, but they cannot pull my flowers, is what I tell them. <laughs> I have some beautiful fall flowers that I'll tell you what I'm gonna plant right there. And I've got Mr. Tom Tom. Oh, I need to get you a binky, okay? But he's sitting here watching me too, plant flowers. That is a wrap for my fall flowers that was the summer spring they're about to be done anyway because the temperatures are dropping in the night 
and I spruced up for fall. That is what I have. A lot of people was wondering um, what flowers and plants that I got. I got a, it's called Fireworks Fountain Grass, um, is in the middle. I got two yellow mums. I got two crimson curls, and I got a ton of pansies to go around it. So that is the bucket. You likey? Yeah, I, I me likey very muchy. I'm learning. This is super fun. I love this. I just like, it's my, it's, it's it's my your, groove. It's your goose rubba. I love it. I literally just am like, don't anyone talk and let's all just work. I love it. Okay, that is the vlog for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Say bye, Jackson Calvin.